So one bad business partner, that's right, just one can set you back for years. How many of you know somebody that's had a bad business partner? Because I know I have. So you have to know what to look for to avoid this. So if you watch this video from experience, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna show you how to avoid some of the pitfalls that you can have with partnering with the wrong person. Because a lot of times we wanna partner with someone for the wrong reasons. And I'm gonna reveal some of the traits and the behaviors of a bad business partner. And I'm gonna help you spot some of the red flags early on. So you don't have to make the mistakes I've made and the mistakes that so many others have made and lost everything. Just earlier today, somebody told me about another bad situation where they partnered in a business and it wiped them out for years. So let's start here. One of the first things you really gotta look out for is you gotta look out for somebody that doesn't have the same vision as you. If you're getting in business with somebody, they should have the same vision. They should understand your vision and, and align with it. And their ideas should also align with your ideas to some extent. You might have a different idea of how you're gonna to get to the end goal, but your ideas should take you to the same vision, the same, I, the same goal. Because if that's out of whack, like you're never gonna get off the ground. The other thing you gotta do is you gotta really look out for somebody, a business partner that you're looking to get in business with that doesn't take into consideration operational costs. Running a business, getting into a partnership, man, that, that takes money. And it's gonna to continue to take money and there's a good chance you're not gonna make any money in the beginning. And if you do make money, it's gonna be very little because most businesses in the beginning, it's just an investment. So if you get into business with somebody and their number one thing is, oh, how much money am I gonna make? How much money am I gonna make? How much money am I gonna make? And they don't factor in the operational cost, the payroll, the rent, the utilities, all the expenses. You guys are gonna be button heads all the time because you're, you're both focused on the same vision, hopefully at this point, but if one doesn't understand how to run a business, doesn't understand the things that, that you need for a business that cost money, that's a bad start. And I've had business partners like that. I've had business partners that put their paycheck first and they always wanted to get paid first. They didn't want to reinvest in the company. I always wanted to make more money. And you know what? The business never really went anywhere because it was me, 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 me all the time. We shared the same vision, but our goals of how we were going to get there and who was going to profit and where the monies were going to go were very different. The other thing you want to avoid is somebody that wants to pay themselves first. Now, this is cliche because I always say, pay yourself first. But in business, what I'm referring to is that business partner that wants to pay themselves first. They want to lead from the back, not the front. You've all heard of that before, right? Like, take a pack of wolves. And you guys have probably seen this, but wolves are amazing. Who's out front every time? It's the alpha wolf. The alpha wolf has proved itself to everybody else. It's the leader of the pack. But the alpha wolf is in the front. It's not in the back saying, all right, you guys, make a clear pass so that I don't have to get my paws too wet. No way. Because an alpha wolf, by sheer nature, is a leader. And that's who you want to partner with. You want to partner with a leader. Not somebody that's just concerned about paying themselves first and making everybody else do the work. Let me give you an example. Like Shauna in my office, we were doing this event back a long time ago. And I, I was in a suit back then. And I remember somebody came up and told me, hey, your toilet's overflowing. Immediately, I didn't even think twice. I could have just said, hey, Shauna, or hey, somebody else, can you guys go plunge the toilet? Like that's, that's below my pay grade or something. But I didn't, I just went back there. I grabbed the darn plunger and I started plunging that poop filled toilet. I, I know, great thought, right? But that's because I didn't even think. I lead from the front and they snapped a photo of it. It's a pretty epic photo. But the whole idea is I didn't even think about that. I just led. I just did what needed to be done. An alpha wolf just does what needs to be done and you need to find a partner like that. One of my businesses that I started was my, my first big business, Fat Man Board Shops. I remember I had a partner there and like he was a great guy, but I remember he was very money centric. He always wanted the new car, always wanted the new shoes, the new clothes. And I remember when he had a good month, he would just take all the money from that good month and he'd just go blow it on things that you know, for him, a new dirt bike, a new four-wheeler, a new car, whatever it was. He never reinvested back in the business. And for some reason, I just really never cared much. I'm like, all right, well, because he was kind of his own separate store and I had mine that I was running. So there were kind of separations, but we were partners. But I remember when things got tough, when everything started slowing down during the Great Recession, he wasn't going to make it. He had no money saved because every year when he made money, he spent it all. That's not the business partner you want. And I remember after that, he kind of threw me under the bus. I got stuck paying about $20,000 from a lease that he walked away from. And not only did he walk away from the lease, he took all the inventory. 
And I told him, I said, hey, listen, man, they're going to sue us. They're going to they're going to win. We signed a lease. We got to make good on this. Like, you know, I'm willing to pay my share. But like, you know, this is your business, too. Didn't pay anything. Continued to sell off all that inventory that he loaded in his basement, making money, never offered to reimburse me. When I sat there and I made good on that lease because my reputation meant more than a couple bucks that I was paying on that lease. And back then it was tough for me to make it. See, the other thing you want to avoid, and I'm not saying that this is that person, but you know these people. You want to avoid unethical and dishonest people. So if you're going to get in business with somebody, I don't care how good they are at that. I don't care what traits they have that really, really are needed for the business. If they're unethical, or dishonest, if you know them to kind of tell fibs, if you know them to be a liar, if you know them to do unethical things, do not get in business with them. You can't buy reputation. It's the fourth law of wealth, number four. You can't buy reputation, you earn a reputation and you can lose that reputation like this. One bad move, one unethical action, one unethical thing that you or your partner does, your reputation as a business is done, done. It doesn't matter how much that partner knows. If they're unethical, walk away. You also want to avoid a partner that doesn't know how to run a business. I mean, this should just be logical, right? This should just make com this should be common sense. But if you're gonna get in business with someone, maybe they got the money that you need for the business, but they have no idea how to run a business. Great, have them be an investor in your business. Keep them out of the business. Make sure the operating agreement says, hey, you are not to come into the business. You're just an investor because you don't know how to run a business. Don't get in business with people that don't know how to run a business. That's, that's stupid. And the last thing, understand how to get out of the business, okay? Understand how to break up. Understand how to divorce from the business partnership. What's the exit plan? Do you have a buy-sell in place? Do you know how much each partner would have to buy the other partner out if things don't go well? These are things you must, need, you must know, you must figure out. When you get into a relationship, know how you're gonna get out of the relationship. Now that might not work for your marriage. Maybe prenups aren't part of your marriage, but in a business partnership, you better hope you figure this out from the get-go. Sit down with your business partner and say, hey, listen, if for some reason we ever have disagreements and I wanna buy you out or you wanna buy me out, let's put a price to this business right now. How much would it take for me to buy you out or you to buy me out? And I'm not saying that's ever gonna happen, but let's, let's think of the end in mind, just to, as an emergency plan, as an exit plan, because that might happen. And when you get to the table without the plan and your business partner who you want to buy out throws in a ridiculous number and starts threatening you and saying, that's what it's going to take. Take it or leave it. You're screwed. But if you figured that out from day one, when everything's kosher, when you two are both talking and when you guys are friends or, you know, everything's good because you're looking optimistic, that's the time to figure the exit plan out. So let's just do a quick recap of these. Number one, make sure that the business partner you get in Make sure they have the same vision and the same ideas that you do for this business. Don't get into business with someone that has a different vision. Number two, make sure you don't get into business with someone that doesn't take into consideration the operational cost of running the business. That's a real big mistake because every business takes money to make money. Number three, make sure you don't get into business with someone that wants to pay themselves first. Always remember the wolf, the alpha wolf, always leads from the front, not the back. Get into business with someone that understands that leaders, they're out front. They do the hard work. It doesn't matter whether or not that's something they should be doing or not. They just do it because it needs to get done. Number four, make sure you get into business with someone that's ethical. Stay away from unethical people. Stay away from dishonest people. You cannot buy a reputation. Always remember that. A reputation is earned. Number five, don't get into business with someone that doesn't know how to run a business. Make sure they got some business sense. Make sure they understand how a business operates and how to run a business. Number six, make sure you know how to exit this partnership. When you get into the partnership, know how you're gonna get out of the partnership. Understand that because that if that comes up, you wanna have that figured out from day one. Folks, I hope you never have to get into business with a bad partner, one that you have to break up with, one that has to take you on a ride or take advantage of you or put you in a really bad place where you lose everything because this happens all the time. Folks, if you like this, check this video out. Should I pay my mortgage off or invest? I think you'll like that video and there's an important lesson in there. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.